It is 10.45 p.m. April 11th, 2020. I have been in the house for just over two weeks now, and I am dying to be creative. And I've realized that I have a lot of extra fabric from when I did my 1890s ensemble, and I thought, I got an idea. I want to redo my rendition of a modernized 1890 skirt, except with pockets and a little bit shorter so that way I don't look like a Catholic schoolgirl. Using this truly Victorian pattern, I began by cutting out the pieces. I estimated that I wanted the skirt to sit around 22 inches, so I began cutting it as such. For the hem, I tried to follow the curve of the hemline that was on the pattern. And I have a feeling somebody is going to say that I copied off a Bernadette banner, but no, please don't. She is a wonderful woman, you should really check out her channel, but I just wanted to do my own rendition of a project that I had already completed myself last year. And by the way, I didn't cut out any interfacing because this skirt was short enough that I didn't need it. All the panels are labeled with letters, so either A, B, C, or D, and the next thing I did was sew them all together, with the exception of leaving a space at the top for the pockets I was going to sew in between B and C. The type of fabric I used was a red flannel from Joann's and a velvety felt type fabric that I got off of Target Curtains from Goodwill. Does anybody else get these sudden urges to be creative in the middle of the night and then you just don't want to stop? Well, that was me. And I really hope that I never do this again because I was so tired and I don't know, I just wanted to challenge myself, I guess. I sewed the invisible pockets onto the skirt, similar to that of what I did in my last video. And I'm honestly so proud of myself because I remembered all the steps and I didn't need help. <laughs> and I'm happy that these pockets are actually invisible because they match the original fabric. So <laughs> I don't know, I get giddy over these things. I predicted this would happen sometime during the night. So I just sewed on the pockets and I uh, camera stopped shooting because of the battery. And um, yeah, so I'm just gonna iron out those pockets, finish up the back and probably focus on the waistband. And um, right now it is 1.04 AM and that's how far I've gotten. Anybody sees me picking out felt like velvety fabric again, I give you permission to slug me. Please don't hit me, I'm a gentle soul. Well anyway, the next thing to do was to sew on the placket that goes in the back, as well as sew the back panels together. Now the next thing that the instructions say to do is to pin the waistband so that way it is one inch longer on the right side, and then gather the back to make pleats. And you know, I really hate recording on my phone because of this quality, but you know what? This is what you get when you pull an all-nighter and you're trying to get a project done before dawn. I hand sewed a running stitch to make the gathers in the back, throughout all the D panel and half of the C panel on each side. And if you're wondering why I'm looking off in the distance every so often, it's because I'm watching Deadliest Catch. That is a lovely camera angle. I then sewed a hook and eye to close off the waistband. Next was time for the hemming. It is 12.46, I am still alive, and it looks so cute. I just finished off the back here, and um, I know that it's supposed to be a little bit baggy because there's supposed to be a like some kind of bustle worn in the back, but the thing about this is that I ordered a uh, bum pad from Russia, and it still hasn't come yet because of um, you know what. And it's probably not gonna come until like June because the borders are closed. So anyway, I really like how this is turning out to be, except, well, um, I'm like on the fence of how the pockets turn out because now it's actually the same fabric, so they are invisible no matter what, but um, it's kind of far back, but then again, I thought about this and like, if I put the pockets between A and B, it would have gotten bunched up. It would have been bad. So um, I prefer all the weight 
of what's going to be in the pockets to be more like like center hips. So I'm glad on how that turned out. And the pleats are very nice. The trick to do that is to not think. That's how you do it. So I'm gonna hem this beauty and then I'm gonna go to sleep because grand reveals happen better in the sun. I promise you I'm not this goofy in real life. I was just really sleep deprived and you know how you get like sleep drunk? Yeah, well that was me. I followed up by hemming the skirt and this was a little bit tricky. It's always tricky for me because there's a little train effect in the back, but you just try to match it up as best you can. And when I got stumped, I got the idea to measure the front to measure exactly how I want it to be because I'm smart. Just so you guys know, it's 3.15 right now. It's, it's Easter, <laughs> I've just realized. And I'm gonna finish off this hem and then get ready for bed. All right, everybody, let's pray. I have no idea why I challenged myself in this manner because, well, I think this stay-at-home order is making me go a little bit nuts. Or maybe I just wanted to figure out how long a project would actually take me if I didn't stop. But of course, the next thing I did after hemming it was trim the excess fabric and then I was done. Except I didn't show that part. And now you're about to see some raw footage of me whenever I'm sleep deprived. Done. You can't tell me anything. Um... 319. So I started at what? Quarter to 11? So that means... Math. And yes, seriously, whenever I have to do math, my brain freezes. 12. 1, 2, 3. 5. Less than five hours, I made this. And I'm happy that I can do it, but um... bed. <laughs> if you're tired, go to bed. Okay, there we are. Happy Easter. After a much needed sleep, here's the grand reveal. And no, I will never get tired of twirling. You know, when I put the jacket on and I put all of this together, I just feel like... <laughs> I don't know, I'm supposed to conduct a business meeting or something, but like, I like this. <laughs> so yeah, this be it. Um, I am never gonna do that again. <laughs> you know, with the stay at home order going on, you'd figure that I would want to get back all the sleep that I lost through all of my <laughs> years in school, but I didn't. Insomnia is rough, but uh, at least I got a new skirt in less than five hours. And I'm proud of myself for that. Well, there we are. My name's Kaylee. Thank you for watching. Subscribe if you want. And I shall see you in my next sewing adventure. <laughs> Which, by the way, throughout the whole process, I did not check to see if this waistband would actually fit. And, um, <laughs> oh, I'm happy. But don't follow in my example. It's bad practice. And get your sleep. That's it. Okay. Happy Easter, everyone.